What's up everybody, Jordan here from Tech Talk Today. I'm back with another video. In this video, I'm going to show you the HP 15.6 inch laptop and give you some of my initial thoughts after using this for a couple weeks. Alright, to get this one, go to bestbuy.ca and it'll cost you $400 Canadian plus tax and it comes with an Intel Pentium 1.6 GHz M3710 processor, 500 GB hard drive, 4 gigs of RAM, 15.6 inch non touchscreen display with a resolution of 1366 by 768 and Windows 10 and it has three USB A ports, an HDMI port, an Ethernet port and an SD card slot as well as a headphone jack. So this computer also has a webcam built in which I've tested a little bit and it looks decent. It's not like anything mind blowing but that makes sense considering it's a pretty budget laptop but it does the job for Skype and other video chat applications that you may end up using. Let's keep it moving. Alright, so as I mentioned earlier, this computer has a bunch of ports, Ethernet, HDMI, USB and USB, one of which I'm using for my mouse right now. Other side, USB and micro SD and a couple LEDs. On the back you got a silver HP logo. Let's keep it moving. So this computer comes in uh, grayish black and is made completely of plastic and then has an air vent on the side to keep the computer cool and then you open it up and you get the big 15.6 inch display which looks decent for the price and then you get the keyboard which is pretty clicky but not super loud and then you got the number pad right here which is super helpful yeah yeah so this looks pretty good let's keep it moving alright so this computer has been pretty good so far it's not super powerful so I wouldn't recommend trying to video edit on it I tried it but it didn't really work and yeah it works for, for word processing and browsing the web and doing light stuff but if you want something more powerful I'd recommend spending a bit more money on something a little better. Yeah, so one other thing that I'm not crazy about is the, uh, it has a bunch of like little weird things that happen sometimes, like the, a couple weeks ago I had the audio stop working, and like the headphone jack and the speakers, which is really weird, but I solved it by just taking the battery out and powering it off, and then powering it back on, and putting the battery back in. But little stuff like that, you just have to expect it with a budget laptop. Yeah, if you're looking for something just for like word processing and not super complex stuff, this is pretty good. Thanks for watching this video. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, make sure to leave a like and subscribe if you haven't done so already. I'll be back with more soon. Peace.